Hey everybody, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this paper iMac for your dolls. I know this was requested like forever ago, but American Girl Ashlyn, my friend Maddie, reminded me to do this video. So go follow her on Instagram. Her pictures are absolutely amazing. She takes gorgeous indoor photos and I wish I could take indoor photos like that. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make this paper iMac and keyboard and the trackpad you can do the mouse or the trackpad i just prefer the trackpad so it's just easier so what you're going to do is you're going to need a computer and a printer so we're just going to type in apple imac and then you're just going to go to images and just find an image that you want maybe with like your favorite background on it so i did you know one that looks like that then once you've found that and saved it to, I think I saved mine to my desktop. I have, you know, those ones right there saved already. So once you want the keyboard, you're just going to type in keyboard. And you're just going to find one you like if you want, you know, just the normal one or the longer one with the number keypad on it. It's up to you. So I think I just did this one. Save that to your desktop or wherever and then you're going to do the trackpad or the mouse depending on what you would prefer this one's a little bit harder but here's one right here you want it like a top view and then for the computer part you're gonna want to do if you want to you don't have to I did you know print out a back for it too but you don't have to so you can just go ahead and find and one that you like, maybe, how big is this one? How big is this one? This one's bigger, so it would be better resolution. So I want it bigger than that. So this one would not be good because that's the actual size of the picture. And we want to make it bigger, which would make it more pixelated, like a more terrible quality. You can tell the size of the photo right here. So this one's good. So I'm going to save image as. I'm just going to do iMac back and then save that to my desktop. And once it's saved there, so I have all my parts saved to the desktop. So we're just going to go ahead and open Microsoft Word. Okay, and then you're just going to open a blank document. So what you can do is just drag and drop in the images that you want. So I'm going to bring in the computer one. And that is a very large image. So unless if you want it that big, you are going to want to size it to be smaller. How big did I do that one before? Because I want this one to be bigger. Measure this one because I forgot how big I have it. Not even four inches and I think. So where you want it, um, you're just going to want to measure. So I'm going to have mine in here most likely. So I'm going to measure where, how big this is. So we can't make it any bigger than four and a half inches. Otherwise it'd be too big. It would not fit in that spot. So the ruler's up here. It starts at zero and then right now we're about at four and a quarter. So I think that's about good. The side goes down. See, I said a height was four and a half, right? So we can make it really big really big okay, i might do it right there if that matches up with the four not quite but so now we can add in the back side and then you just basically size this one pretty similarly hold on let me see if i can do to wrap it so i can put this oh it's not gonna let me hold on i need to fix this one too I'm wrapping the text so I can overlap them. I don't know if this would work. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of an overlap on this side. So it doesn't have to be perfectly sized because you can always trim off excess or whatever. Okay, so right there is about good. So I'm just going to move this back down. So we have our front screen and our back. So I'm just going to drag in the keyboard. And that is really large. So... Yeah, you don't want to make it as wide as the computer. You're going to want to make it a little bit smaller than that. So, how big is this one? I want to make it at least a little bit bigger than this. Okay. 
Okay, so I have this one at just three inches exactly. So let's try three and a half since we made the computer width. We want three and a half. Probably won't get to three and a half exactly. Yeah, that's close enough. So let me wrap text this so we can measure it here. Yeah, that's about good. It's not too big. I'm just gonna move it somewhere. I'm just gonna move it right there. So I'm gonna drag in my trackpad, which is also another very large photo. This is gonna be, it has to be the same height as the keyboard, so we're pretty similar. So these are pretty similar. I'm gonna move it down. When you do print this out, I think you're gonna want thick cardstock paper. So if you don't have that, that's fine. You can just use normal paper. So now that we have all of our things set up and sized the way we want oh wait hold on i'm gonna move this one down a little bit oh wait we might need to change the margins i'm gonna do 0.5 just so we can fit more on this page so you're gonna want to leave a little bit of space to create a stand for your keyboard and stuff i did do hot glue before but that just makes the paper curl and we don't want that so I would just leave a little extra space to be able to do that for the trackpad and the keyboard. And then I'll show you how I stand it up. So I just used a little piece of aluminum foil. I think I hot glued it, but I don't remember on the back. So it helps it stand up just like that. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to print it. I may need to load my printer with cardstock paper first. So I'm going to get cardstock paper, put it in the printer, print it out, and then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so I just printed mine out and it looks like this. And I'm just going to start cutting all these pieces out. When you're cutting these two out, you want to make sure you don't forget to add on a little extra at the top. So don't cut right on here, just add a little bit to the top. That makes sense. So I'm gonna start off with that before I forget. And when you're cutting the back of the computer, you don't have to keep, you know, this part of the back of it. You can just cut a straight line through. Because otherwise, if you did that, it would look funny on that one. So you can just cut straight through and then this one you're going to want to cut out the stand you're not going to want to cut right through otherwise your computer will not stand up I have cut out all of the pieces needed for this computer so I'm just going to see how well size the back to the front and did pretty well we can always trim off extra for this for these two the trackpad and the keyboard what we're gonna do is you're gonna not cut through the paper I'm gonna score right on the black line and then I'm gonna do it on the keyboard too so I'm gonna get a piece of paper so I don't scratch my computer and you're just lightly scoring you're not cutting this piece off so then it should easily fold and then you'd have a little stand so it should it kind of sit at an angle probably can't tell right now but i'll show you after okay, i'm gonna move this over there i'm gonna score this keyboard i'd prefer to use a scissors to score because if you use an exacto knife it will just cut that piece off see how it just folds really nicely so then your keyboard also has a little stand so i'll take this off so you guys can see what i mean see how they are now up at an angle like they normally would be these are two but you know it kind of has that little gap right there it doesn't stay down so if you want to do the hot glue method go ahead but this is the new way i decided to do it and it works great so now we are going to have to glue the back side onto the front side so i'm going to go get a glue stick 
and we'll get gluing that those two together. So I got a glue stick. I prefer glue stick instead of other liquid glue is because you don't want your computer to be, I don't know, I just don't like the liquid glue. I'd rather prefer use this because the liquid glue might bleed through this paper and cause the ink to get all gross. I would not use the liquid glue. If that's all you have, I mean, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you, but I prefer the glue stick. It might cause lumpiness if you glue it with uh, the liquid glue. And then I'm gonna move this paper out of the way since it has glue on it now. And then I'm just gonna press. And the liquid glue might cause the paper to curl as well, so. Sorry if you couldn't just see any of that that I was just doing. So yeah, the liquid glue might cause the paper to curl up. You don't want that. Okay, so this is what I have. And you can see there's like a little bit of white around the edges and I'm gonna trim that off. So now you have your very nice iMac that's paper thin because it's literally made of paper. Now, you'll need a piece of foil. So this is, I will measure it for you so you know how much to cut out. This is about two and three quarters inches. W would you wanna say this is width? And then length is 12 inches. So 12 by two and three quarters or 2.75 inches so now that we have this mine's already kind of pre-folded but I'm just gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then you're just gonna fold it in half this way fold it in half again make sure it's all lined up and then fold it in half again and then here's your ending point and fold it in half. And then what you're going to do, the reason I did glue, you know, like all of these pieces together to, help, to hold it together. I said you don't have to do that, but feel free to. Now you're just going to glue one of the sides onto the back of this. And you know, it should fit on here. If there's like overlap of aluminum foil, you can, I wouldn't necessarily trim it down and just try to fold it differently. So I'm going to glue mine on about right there. But I do need a hot glue gun for that. So we're going to now go downstairs and get the hot glue gun warmed up and ready to go. All right, I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna glue all these little parts together. Now that this is warmed up. I don't know why the glue does not wanna come out of here very well. All right, so once you've done that, you can put glue on this part and then go ahead and glue it right on the back of your computer. So I don't know if I can see if I can get enough out of here to... There we go. And there you have it. You can always measure, you know, how progress is going when you print out your first computer. So, you know, I had a little bit more space that I could have made it bigger, but this one is fine. It is much bigger than the other one. I sound out of breath because I just ran up like two flights of stairs. So there you have it. For the aluminum stand, you might have to mess with it a little bit to get your computer to stand how you want it but i messed with mine for a little bit there after i glued it on and got it to stand up so yeah i'm use i'm using my old trackpad from the other set that i had made because the other one was just too big that's how you make a paper imac computer for your dolls i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to go follow maddie american girl ashlyn on instagram i will have her instagram below so you can go follow her but thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you in the next video
Bye.